Hello and welcome. Hi, my name is Mrs. Elizabeth and I'm going to take you on a voyage through the digestive system. And my name is Catherine. I can't wait to get started. As you can see, I am a doctor, so I know all about the digestive system. Let's get started. Ooh, this is the mouth. I know around the back, the three teeth are the molars, and all the flat teeth are in the back. The flat teeth are actually called premolars. In front of them is a cuspid. Then, the teeth in front are called incisors. Do you know what happens in the mouth, Catherine? Yeah, I do. First, the teeth make the food smaller and softer with each bite. Saliva also makes food easier to swallow. Saliva also can, contains a chemical called enzymes, which help break down food so the body can absorb it. Anyway, once the food is small enough, it is swallowed. I think it's time for us to be swallowed. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> ah. I believe we fell down through the esophagus and into the stomach. Ooh, gross. The stomach is the size of your wrist, but luckily it can expand a lot. The stomach produces a very strong acid that digests the food while killing bacteria. Oh, uh oh no. Are we bacteria? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah! Oh! oh. Yeah! Yay! I'm glad we're not bacteria. So, as I was saying, the stomach also produces an enzyme known as pespin, which breaks down proteins into amino acids. I'm a little scared. Can we move on? Okay. No, no, don't go. I want to go, go to the Catherine. intestines. Oh, Catherine, don't go. Don't Wee, this is like the biggest slide at Key Lion Cove. This is actually the small intestine. This is where most of the digestion and absorption of nutrients takes place. Whoa! Are we almost out? I'm getting dizzy. I also wanted to say that there's an increase on the surface area in the small intestines, which absorbs plenty of nutrients to the bloodstream. Right, Ellie? Yes, that is true. Whoa, this is scary. Why do we keep falling a little and turning? Because the intestines are all twisty and turby. Cool. There's the exit. Yahoo! Woo! Now where are we? It smells gross. This is where your body gets rid of waste. Ew. Everybody does it. Waste moves through the large intestines, right? Yep, that's why we didn't go there. Can you still tell me some facts about it? Sure, why not? Good, I don't know much about it. The large intestine also takes care of absorbing any water left in the food that hadn't been digested yet and passes the leftover waste from the stomach to the rectum where... I don't have to hear anymore. I think I get it. Good. You're a very good listener. We're back already? What about the liver and stuff? Now, now, I did not take you in the liver. I am so sorry, but I can still tell you facts about it. The liver isn't completely connected to the digestive system, but it plays a super important role. What would your body do without it? Now that I think about it, you would die without it. Yeah, when the nutrients are absorbed and delivered to your blood by the small intestines, they are first carried to the liver, which stores some of the nutrients for further use. It also protects the human body by clearing the blood of harmful substances that were accidentally absorbed by the small intestines. Now I know what the liver does. Livers are cool. What's wrong, Ellie? I guess this is goodbye. 
Oh. I'm sure we'll meet again. I don't think so. You see, I have to help other little girls and boys to know these things too. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodbye. I hope I see you again.